Fewer than 60% of freshmen graduate in six years, and that's already two years late. The cost of dropping out, measured by lost earnings, is $3.8 billion, and that's just for a single year and a single class of students. But how can you make sure that you don't fail like the rest? All units downtown. College is hard, very hard. If you think you can just glide through college with ease, reality is about to deal you a smack in the face. If you're already in college and struggling, or you just want to be prepared, I've got five tips that could change your college experience completely. I wish I could go back in time and undo so many of my mistakes. But time only goes forward. And if you aren't careful, it could pass you by altogether. That's why you need a decent schedule in place to keep track of your time. It doesn't just vanish into thin air. Every day, on a physical note card or a piece of paper, write down the single most important thing that you need to accomplish that day. This is your daily highlight. Prioritize it above all other things. Then, you can write down a few other big things you'd like to do after you finish your daily highlight. This way, you at least get that one big thing done, and then you can focus on all the other things weighing you down. Ugh. At the end of the day, look back on all the things you've accomplished. If you didn't do anything, it means you're a failure and you're horrible. I'm kidding. Don't beat up on yourself. Rather, look back and see what thing has caused you to be unproductive that day. Then write these things down in a journal. That way you have a record of all the mistakes you've made that you can look back on and improve yourself. And that is my tip number two. So you made a schedule, but you're having trouble sticking to it. Every time you start something, you get distracted and it ends up taking way too long. What you need is the added pressure of a timer. Every time you start an assignment, start the timer. Seeing the countdown on a bomb is intense, right? That way you have the added pressure of being on the clock and every second you spend is being accounted for. Once you're finished, look how long it took you. Then, write in your journal. Remember your journal? Then open up your journal and write down exactly what you did and how long it took. Getting into this habit will help you account for lost time and be more productive. Or maybe it'll just make you feel bad about wasting time. Either way, the added pressure and keeping track of your time will help you from ending the day wondering how on earth you spent it. My fourth tip for you is something I know we can all benefit from, and that is sleep. Most students are sleep deprived and that reduces your ability to think. Sure, caffeine is a temporary solution, but what you really need are hours of restful sleep. Get to bed early and get up early. And get your homework done in the dark hours of morning before you go to school. According to the CDC, staying up for 18 hours is equivalent to having a 0 0.05 blood alcohol content and staying up for 24 hours straight is the same as having a 0.10% blood alcohol content. And that is over the legal driving limit. Yikes. I have one final piece of advice for you. And for many people, this is the hardest one to take. However, you definitely will not regret it. It's crucial that you talk to advisors at your college so they can help you find all of your options. It's never a good idea to try and walk alone. And they know the system and all its quirks inside and out. It is their job. And you're paying them to do it whether or not you take advantage of their service. Also, if you're struggling with any subject, meet with a tutor. Again, you're still paying for their service whether or not you use it. And it could really help you out. Thanks for watching. Stay strong out there.